O chosen people, proclaim the mighty works of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the community of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. Our brothers and sisters both here and at home, welcome. Uh, Father Chris here celebrating Mass of the 6th Saturday of Easter here at St. Mary Magdalene Parish. Welcome again. And for those of you at home, please send your guardian angel to celebrate Mass with me, and I'll send him back with all the blessings attached to them. O oh, guardian angel at my side, go to the church for me. Kneel in my place at Holy Mass where I desire to be. At offertory in my stead, take all I am and own and place it as a sacrifice upon the altar throne. At holy consecration's bell, adore with Sarah's love. My Jesus hidden in the host, come down from heaven above. And when the priest communion takes, O bring my Lord to me, that his sweet heart may rest in mine, and I his temple be. Again, welcome. Our brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And Almighty God, have mercy in us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let's pray. O God, whose Son, at his ascension to the heavens, was pleased to promise the Holy Spirit to the apostles, Grant, we pray, that just as they received manifold gifts of heavenly teaching, so on us, too, you may bestow spiritual gifts. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After staying in Antioch for some time, Paul left and traveled in orderly sequence through the Galatian country, of Phrygia, bringing strength to all the disciples. A Jew named Apollos, a native of Alexandria, an eloquent speaker, arrived in Ephesus. He was an authority on the scriptures. He had been instructed in the way of the Lord, and with ardent spirit spoke and taught accurately about Jesus, although he knew only the baptism of John. He began to speak boldly in the synagogue, but when Priscilla and Aquila heard him, they took him aside and explained to him the way of God more accurately. And when he wanted to cross to Achaia, the brothers encouraged him and wrote to the disciples there to welcome him. After his arrival, he gave great assistance to those who had come to believe through grace. He vigorously refuted the Jews in public, establishing from the scriptures that the Christ is Jesus, the word of the Lord. Thank you. God is king of all the earth. God is king of all the earth. All you peoples, clap your hands. Shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great king over all the earth. God is king of all the earth. The king of all the earth is God. Sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nations. God sits upon his holy throne. God is king of all the earth. The princes of the peoples are gathered together with the people of the God of Abraham. For gods are the guardians of the earth. He is supreme. God is king of all the earth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I came from the Father and have come into the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We're reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, whatever you ask in the Father in my name, he will give you. Until now, you have not asked anything in my name. Ask, and you will receive, so that your joy may be complete. I have told you this in figures of speech. The hour is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figures, but I will tell you clearly about the Father. On that day, you will ask in my name, and I do not tell you that I will ask the Father for you, but the Father himself loves you because you have loved me and have come to believe that I came from God. I came from the Father and have come into the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
Man, there is so, so much that, uh, that Jesus is telling us uh, through the scriptures, obviously. But in particular, in John's gospel, he keeps talking about this dynamic, uh, dynamic, I don't know any better word, a relationship, uh, all-encompassing dynamic relationship with the Father. He's constantly talking about the Father. And he's getting to the point of telling the disciples and the apostles, guys, uh, I'm, uh, go to the Father and ask the Father for guidance. Ask the Father for what it is you need. You haven't completely asked for your needs to be met. Now, when he's talking about this, he's talking about all the needs that we have as people uh, that are about us getting closer to God. Remember, John, John 17, 3, not too much after this, uh, Jesus telling them what eternal life is. And this is eternal life, that they should know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. So I keep coming back to the scripture passage because when you hit it, it's like this everything of this relationship with the Father. And Jesus is talking about, I want your joy to be complete. No. Honestly, our joy is never going to be complete, complete, complete here. There's always going to be something in the way. Uh, but joy is certainly different than happiness. Happiness is contingent upon what's happening right now or maybe might, what might come down the road. We'll all be happy when our coronavirus is over. But you know as well as I, something else is going to take its place in our concerns. It might not be global. It might just be local. It might just be you or me. Uh, there's always something to worry about in this world. It's one thing I hate about this world. I wish we just had a point of saying, you know, we're done with all this stuff. We just get to kick back and enjoy God's company and presence, which not so much. Uh, but we have enough of what the Father is doing, of what the Father is asking for us, that we can have complete joy in this world to that one ex extent that says, God, you are everything. And the more I plug in with you, the happier I feel, the more connected I feel, the better I am in being able to serve and love you. And, and very much that, 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 that the Lord Jesus Christ enabled his church to be created, by the way. As we see in the Acts of the Apostles, uh, Paul going through different places and coming across this Jew named Apollos and trying to help him out. Apparently, Apollos is a great preacher. Apollos has some great gifts. But Apollos needs the church. He needs Paul. He needs other people to say, no, listen, Apollos, you're still missing about the Holy Spirit. You don't, you taught with the baptism of John. You're pretty accurate on when it comes to Jesus. But, but you need to know more. The Holy Spirit will fill you with extra things. You need to know about God the Father. So all of these things that the church presents to us, and the reason for coming to know more through our faith, is to understand the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit as best we can, to be equipped to be able to understand God's love for us and to be able to share uh, our love with God with others. And that's, more, that's what people need more than anything in this world, especially now and especially at any time uh, where there's something, some giant crisis going on. We all need to know God's love for us. But we all have to understand it's not just what we see in this world. It's not just what is happening to me at this moment. It's what God is doing through me to where the coronavirus, yeah, okay, whatever. Again, it could be anything, but it is knowing God's love. It is turning to the Father, to the Holy Spirit, to the Son, to the second person of the Trinity, the Word, to say, help us. Help us. God has lead us in this relationship you keep talking about. But we have to turn to you and we need to ask for these relationships individually to be made manifest in our lives. So Lord Jesus, we do ask you today to give us that gift, to give us those insights, to give us everything we need to continue knowing your love in our hearts, that what we see isn't, that we know that what we see with our physical eyes isn't everything of what you're doing and how you love us. So we thank you for that love and we ask for your blessings in your name, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us now lift up our intentions to our Lord. Uh, for the intentions of everything of what our church is doing to help people like Apollos, uh, like you and me, to best know God's fullness uh, so we can share his love with others, so the church can share uh, the love of Jesus Christ with the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord we are praying. Uh, today, Saturday, May 23rd, Mass intention is for Mary Morgan and for her family. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord we are praying. I will also list the people that have been put on the mass intention list, and I did lose one of the lists that had about four or five people more. So if you hear this mass and you come across or you have a name that is not in here, please email it to me. Uh, so the following people for Beverly Candelosi, for Rosemary Pizza, for Jeremy and Brianna who had a baby a few days ago, uh, God's blessings on them certainly as they enter into a new phase of life. Scotty, John Crabby and their families, uh, for Kevin O'Plan, for Father H. L. Brignac, for Vita Romagusa, for Ann Delnikoff, who passed away at 2.36 this morning, uh, for blessings upon her and her family. For Noel, for Richard Bagler, who also passed away uh, sometime last night or yesterday. Uh, for Chris Randall, Nikki, Laurie, 
Willie Bonneville, and Gerald Morales, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Uh, for all of the effects of the coronavirus, both economic, spiritual, physical, the loneliness that we're all feeling to some degree, or separatedness, uh, but social isolation, uh, for all of these uh, needs, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. Would anybody here like to add anything that I've either forgotten or that you would like to add personally? For all the needs of everybody here gathered from Mass, for you at home, uh, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Our prayer. God with us, God beyond us, in signs and images you lead us to you, yet your glory is beyond our comprehension. Release us from what prevents us from loving you more fully, that our joy may be complete in the vision of the risen one, our Savior and Lord, now and forever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. But through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Bless you, God, God. Forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our new good and good of all the Holy Church. Church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray. And accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this. All of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith we proclaim your death O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Gregory our Bishop and all the clergy, 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, with Saint Mary Magdalene, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, name. thy kingdom come, thy Amen. will be done, on Amen. earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. It is not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. those of you at home, please join me in a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you, and above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen indeed. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace and glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. St. Michael, the Archangel, Amen. defend Amen. us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God, who you can, we humbly pray. And thou, O Prince, the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell, Satan, and all the evil spirits from throughout the world, seek into the souls. Amen. God bless you all. Have a great, uh, great day. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.